Hi, today I'm going to show you how to put together one of our Bolt Together Benchmarks or Basics workbenches. So a few simple tools that you're going to need. First is assembly instructions. These are located in the white box inside the crate that says assembly instructions and small parts. You can also download them on our website at formaspace.com. The second is a screwdriver. The next is a 7 16 and 19 16 inch ratchet set a pair of scissors to cut banding inside the crate, and a hammer or a crowbar, which we're going to use a little bit of both to break this crate apart. Okay, great, so step one, I'm gonna take the crate apart. Now that I've taken the crate sufficiently apart, I'm going to cut the banding inside to be able to take the components out. All right, so the first thing I'm going to look for is my assembly instructions and additional parts. And I'm gonna open this box, which has my assembly instructions in it. So inside my box, I have a bolt list uh, that has a complete list of all the bolts and screws for my particular project and a complete set of assembly instructions. and individually bagged components for each one of the bolts that goes in my project. Okay, so now I'm going to take everything out of the crate. This is what came inside of our crate. Your crate may be different. Okay, now that we've taken everything apart, we're ready to put together the bench. Okay, so now I've put my legs in place and I'm going to attach the back spreader using a two and a quarter inch hex cap bolt and an associated washer. Now I'm going to attach each of the four leg posts using a one inch hex cap bolt and an associated washer. So now I'm going to attach the two rear gussets using four pan head screws. Okay, so now we've done everything we need to attach the four legs. We're going to flip the bench over and attach the upper support. Okay, now I'm going to attach the two rear unistruts using the two and a quarter inch hex cap bolt an associated washer, and a cone nut. So we use uh, two bolts on the lower side on either side of the leg. So I'm just going to slip those through, just like that. Then I'm going to loosely fit the cone nut with the teeth side forwards to this bolt, just like that. Then I'm going to slide the unistrut down the back of these bolts without allowing those cone nuts to twist or slip. I hand tighten the bolts. And they'll hold while hand tightened, but I'm gonna follow up with my 9 16 inch ratchet. And I'm going to tighten firmly, but not so tightly that the steel starts to be indented on the other side. And then I'm going to repeat for the other leg. Now Todd's going to help me rotate the bench around so it faces the wall 
and then we're going to attach the upper shelf. Okay, so now I'm going to attach the upper shelf using the shortest hex cap bolts, the associated washer, and a cone nut for each bolt. Now many of our shelves only require two bolts. This particular one is a heavy duty industrial shelf and requires four bolts, so I'll show you how it's installed. You always wanna make sure to face the teeth of the cone nut forward towards you and towards the front of the bench to make sure you get a good grip. Now that we've loosely attached the bolt, we're going to adjust the shelf to the height we want it, and then we're going to tighten up the two bolts. Okay, now since this is a heavy duty shelf, we have two lower bolts, and we're going to attach those as well. Okay. Now that we have our shelf assembled, we're going to insert our wire partitions. Now this is really simple. You just locate the holes in the top shelf and insert the wire partition. You may have to bend them a little bit, then make sure they're all the way seated. And now we've put them all up and we have a completed workbench. So as you can see, it's really easy to put together a form of space workbench. But if you have any questions whatsoever, don't forget to call 1-800-298-0473, extension 3, for a dedicated service representative who can help you with any questions.